Today we are going to be brewing some coffee, but more specifically, we are going to be brewing this coffee from Comet here, which is a frozen pod of coffee that looks just like this. Before we do that, I just want to say welcome to Beans Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. If you could please like and subscribe, that helps me produce more content as a YouTuber. I also have a huge giveaway coming up that you're not going to want to miss, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for that. You're not going to want to miss out on what we have to offer. So first off, this is completely unbiased. I paid for this for the most part from Commenteer. And let me explain exactly what that means. So I ordered the starter pack of Commenteer and I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but it came with four boxes of this, which comes to 16 cups of coffee. And it also came with a fellow Carter mug that has Commenteer on it. There was some issues, however, with my shipment. I ordered this during the great coffee tasting that James Hoffman did, and that threw off everything because they had to ship a ton of coffee out as a result of that. So they basically took a long time for my order. I emailed them. They refunded me half the money, which was $16. So I paid $32 for 16 cups in a fellow uh, Carter mug, which was a good deal at the time. And that's kind of their entry way to get you into Cometeer, probably to get you hooked. But anyway, I emailed them. They did not or they responded pretty quickly, apologized for it, said it would come out in a couple days. Still didn't come out, so I emailed them again. They refunded my order entirely, sent me all of the coffee still, and I got a second fellow mug. So it was free for me, but I was a normal customer. They didn't know I was reviewing this. So shout out to Commenteer for being very, very good customer service. I'm thankful for you guys and the way that you handle your business here. So First off, with this, I got four different types of coffee from four different roasters. In front of me, I have Clash Coffee, and this is their light roasted. I went through all of this, and it was great. Then I also have Counterculture's uh, Medium Roast. I don't really remember what it is. It's called Fast Forward African, Central America, and South America Coffee. I also got two Dark Roasts. Two different other brands. I can't really remember what they are on the top of my head. The problem is, is I don't really prefer dark roasted or medium roasted. I prefer light roasted. So it was kind of a bummer in the mixture pack that that's all you get. Um, however, when you come to order it, you can order it however you want. So basically what it costs is if you are not a member, which means if you don't have a return, a renewing subscription, you will be paying $84 for 32 cups of coffee, which comes out to about $2.60 per cup, which is quite expensive. When you do the membership, it comes down to $2 a cup. They now, I believe, are at Costco too. So basically how this works, and we're gonna brew it and we're gonna test it right here, is you pop off this top here, you throw it in the freezer, obviously. So you have this little pod here and there's a number of ways you can do it. You can obviously not microwave it, but what I do is I just put a little bit of hot water in there from a kettle. You can also just leave this on your countertop too and let it thaw or put it in your fridge. It does stay fine, I believe 24 hours, not frozen. So that's kind of a plus to it. So I kind of do it this way. I just, I don't know, I find it the best that works for me. You can also go on the outside of it a little too, but that, it is metal so it can burn your fingers a little bit. But basically, it is an ice cube that is frozen in there, solid with coffee, and you get quite a bit of residue left in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. So it's very, very concentrated. Coffee is how they do it. And they freeze that, and it was frozen on 1017, and it will last quite a bit of a while. But the difference about this is typically in specialty coffee, you wanna see a roast date in there, and you wanna drink it within a month. So theoretically, I should have finished this by November 17th. And this expires in October 17th of 2024. So I still got quite a bit of time, but it still will be fine and it will still taste good. Like it doesn't deteriorate because it's already frozen. So I'm just gonna continue filling this up and it says you want six to eight ounces of coffee. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, or of water, based off of kind of your preference here. And the nice thing about it is because it's iced, when you put hot, water in there it'll cool it down just a little bit and it's still a little hot to drink but overall I have quite a bit of questions with this you can do quite a bit of different things you can do iced coffee or lattes which I have not done but I probably will try out down 
the road. I'm just kind of trying this for black coffee because this is how it is. So on the back of it says you can, you put six to eight ounces of hot water in your frozen capsule in there. You can do a melted, you can just wait for the capsule to melt by putting it on your counter. And you put six to eight ounces of cold water and ice to make an iced coffee. Or you can refresh that with milk and do it that way, which is only going to be a okay because it's not a shot of espresso. There's a ton of different ways to melt it. Run it under warm water to loosen or melt it in the fridge overnight. A lot of recipes, a lot of different things on online on their website that you can find out. But it does a very, very great job of all using specialty coffee brands. So Onyx is one of them, Clat. Clatch is one of them, Counterculture, all of them are great, great brands of coffee that I would recommend buying a bag from anyway. So that is a plus side to it, but it is also a downside because you are limited to it. However, this is giving you specialty coffee for $2.60 or $2, which in the grand schemes of it is a fairly good deal for the convenience and the lack of equipment you have. Obviously, you saw me not use the scale, only use a kettle because I had it but any scent, any way to boil water will be fine and you have a perfect cup of coffee if you go to a specialty coffee shop you're gonna have to wait in line it's gonna take more time but really the price for a drip coffee from there isn't gonna be like super different in price in my opinion I think it might actually be cheaper it's somewhere between two to three dollars at the coffee shop I go to and you get two 12 ounce cups of coffee you can get a refill with it but overall, this coffee tastes really good. It is definitely very, very convenient and definitely worth it in a lot of ways. So why would you buy it and why would you not just buy some kind of a kettle in a V60 and get pre-ground beans or buy a grinder in it? And there's a lot of ways. And one, it's very, very quick. It's very, very convenient. It's faster than a pour over. You don't have to have any skill to do it or understanding of how to brew coffee to do it. If you get pre-ground coffee through a specialty coffee shop, like if I went and bought the same coffee from Counterculture and had them pre-ground it, it's going to not taste as good than what this would be because they, the grinds would sit for a while prior to brewing. If you grind it on your own, it would probably taste a little bit better and you can get better results. However, you're not going to be able to beat the convenience of it because if you leave it out, it can st you can still brew it for a few days afterwards if it's frozen. You can still brew it. So like in other words, this is like in my opinion, the best coffee for like a road trip, the best coffee for a like traveling or so, you can throw it in your bag and you're good to go. This is, I believe, TSA approved, so you can bring it on an airplane with you. Double check that before you test it, but overall, it should get the good job. So personally, I wouldn't, I would not buy it necessarily for everyday use at home, but I would buy it to have as a quick way to make coffee or you know you're going to want to have coffee again. You can just go through Starbucks and get hot water and make your coffee that way. There's a lot of different ways you can do it in a lot of different places. You can get hot water and this makes a really, really good cup of coffee in a pinch and it's way easier than any other method out there. So this is commentary coffee. It's not for everybody, but it is for some people and it is good more or less it's just kind of expensive in the price range. If somehow they could cut it down to a dollar fifty, then I would recommend it a lot more. But I know that that is probably hard with the shipping cost and everything that goes into it because it is good quality coffee. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you've tried Commenteer before, have you tried the iced lattes? What are your thoughts on it? How how do you what do you think about Commenteer? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts in the in the comment section below. And remember, I do have a huge giveaway coming up soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.